All right, boys and girls, there are many different ways that you can do op art. And if you would like to do this tube design, all you need to do is draw some curved lines going diagonally across the page. And you're gonna be doing this in pencil first. And what's so fun about this project is that you really can't mess it up. After you're done doing your curved lines, you're going to draw one line down the center of your curved lines. And that's gonna help you figure out how to draw the rest of your design. So what you're gonna do is the lines that are above the line, above the middle line, you're going to curve upward. And again, it's a good idea to do this in pencil first. And the lines below the line, you curve in the opposite way. And one of the things that you might wanna keep in mind, and it doesn't have to match up with the one underneath it. The wider your lines, the more value you're gonna have to add, okay? So if you wanna add skinnier tubes, you will have less to shade in, but you might have more to shade in across the, the page. But this is a really fun way of making a Dr. Seuss-like op art design, creating the optical illusion. Okay, so now you're ready to add some value. Another way that you can do this tube design is by just drawing some vertical lines across the page. I'm just gonna do four for now. And it really doesn't matter what direction you do it in. It all comes out so good. Now you're gonna do a curved line down the middle. And it's the same idea. You're gonna do curved lines going upward. And curved lines going the opposite direction underneath the line. It's such a fun way to create the illusion that the different lines make it look 3D almost, just by cr drawing curved lines in a certain way. And again, these lines don't have to match up. I just happen to be doing it that way. But once you add the value with a color pencil, it really starts to come to life in a more three-dimensional way.
Okay. Also want to show you that you can do this tubular design not only from a vertical way of doing it and a diagonal way but also you can do it in a horizontal way and I'll show you how to do this one all you need to do is draw your tubular lines horizontally across the page And then you draw your center line, curve line down the center. And it's the same idea. Curve lines go up and they go under below the middle line. There you go.